yo, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here. I punch your brain cat. Otherwise, no, that's only use me. Time hawk since I'm y'all may know me as easy with the blue to the black. That's his own my avatar, my YouTube channel. That's right, yeah, buddy. So I am playing Dead Space 3, and I'd just like to take this moment to apologize. Now, the reason why I'm apologizing is because I've uploaded my Dead Space 3 unboxing very late. As y'all may know, I moved. So uh it's taking me time to do everything. I crashed, uh, went to sleep, woke up, played this, did this commentary. I actually had live commentary on this, but um, something happened with my software. Um, my mic didn't pick up anything, so I just got nothing but a loud buzzing sound. So um, yeah, this is Dead Space 3. So let's talk about some of the things about it. Uh, I like being able to customize it. Now this one right here, I call this my boomstick right now. The reason why is that because I got the regular military assault gun on it on top of it i got that wicked fire electric cross right there boom as you can see and reload boom and we're going to switch over to my plasma cutter splash plasma whatever the other part gun is um customize that now i did use some slim gem codes now you can go and buy some slim gems to get codes for these games um i brought those um, and I got a couple of guns with it, but it's going to come up in a few minutes once I go to the bench and um, start editing these guns and stuff like that. But one of the things that I noticed, if you notice my screen, is real bright in there. The reason why it's bright is because uh, when I normally play my games in my old house, when I used to play my games, the light in, in the house, the sun used to come inside the house, hit the TV, and stop me from being able to see. So I had to basically always make my bright brightness. So I actually see what's going on. So we're going to the workbench right now. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so this is one of them right there that I used the Slim Jim code to get. And I'm going to go to the next one. That's another Slim Jim code. And that was another Slim Jim code. So what I'm basically going to do is, um, you can customize your guns on here to make different type of weapons and stuff. So what I normally do is, I, uh, I get certain one of my guns and... I normally make the blueprints just in case if I want to go back and make that same gun all over again. So I don't have to try to figure out the parts. Um, I like to customize crazy type of guns. I have a lot of fun. I spent almost about an hour just creating guns onto this game, which is real fun. So as you can see right here, I'm using some of the parts that I got. Um, also tear down some guns and stuff like that so I can make my customized guns. As you can see right here, um, these guns right here. Uh, this one, I believe I break it down because that's something that I created myself. So, um, I'm going to start breaking these guns down and stuff like that. But I'm just going through my cycle and stuff right here. But like I said, the brightness, um, the game is dark. It's dark. It's not a lot of darkness that you would normally see, um, in the first Dead Space and the second Dead Space. You know how the second Dead Space was more like a, a thriller thing. Now, with the brightness up, it does... Uh, take away, take away the element of scare. So getting scared on it will take away. But what I do like about it, things just happen out of the blue. That they just pop up out of the blue. You're not going to know when it's going to happen. It just happens like whenever. If you turn your brightness down, you get that both things. But me, I normally keep my brightness up so I can find things that when I'm going for achievements and stuff like that, look for certain things that you can't find when it's dark. And one of the other cool things that I like about this thing is um, his helmet. Now, the helmet on it is wicked cool, which I'm going to tell you about that in a few seconds. But as you can see, I'm going through different classes. Here's different guns. I can basically take some of the tips on here, get the rapid fire and stuff like that, which I'm going to take one of these pieces and make my own rapid fire plasma cut or something. I'm going to make a crazy gun out of this thing. I'm going to probably make a, uh, I don't know. If I can put three attachments to it, I'm going to probably make a crazy gun. What I'm thinking about doing is making a single fire and a rapid fire gun. So up top is going to be a rapid fire, at the bottom is going to be a single fire, and at the bottom is going to be a plasma cutter. Uh, that would be cool, depending on how I like it. But um, as you can see, his helmet mask. And Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2, you notice on his mask, you didn't have that effect that you can see. Basically, for, as you can see, as his head turns... His head is basically uh, illuminating so you can see the lights. Now, one thing I noticed that the connect it doesn't 
uh, respond correctly. I'm up here using the commands to try to open up this door. For some reason it's just not opening. I tuned my um, I tuned up my uh, connect. As you can see, it's red. It didn't even connect the right, so I just want to press the buttons, open up the door manually. But um, the game is fun. There's a lot to do in this thing. Uh, right now, I'm just in the elevator part right now. There's actually somebody talking to me. Like I said, the audio that I originally had for it, something happened to the audio. So I'm doing a over commentary that I already did because I actually did a commentary, a live commentary when I was doing this. But um, the suits is, uh, the suits looks amazing on it. I do have the suits. I'm trying to get to an area that I can get my new suits so I can put on the new stuff and things like that. Uh, I do got the Mass Effect 3. And this is some of the things that I like about it. Um, if you played Mass Effect 3, if you played uh, Dead Space 2, um, and some other games, they do give you like the suits into the actual games and stuff like that. So, um, Mass Effect 3, you do get one of the N7 suits. Um, if you played the Dead Space 2, they give you one of the Dead Space 2 suits off the top just for playing the game. And also you get some of the suits that you get when you pre ordered Now, I was going to originally pre-order the game from uh, the actual web website, web spikes, website, which was deadspace3.com. Um, they do have a limited edition one that gives you a, a big collection on top, on top of it. I was going to do that, but... Um, I pre-ordered so many games, it's not even funny. Ran out of funds towards it, that's the only reason why I didn't do it. Right now, I got pre-ordered uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising, limited edition. Um, I got Gears of War, Judgment Day, um, with the Lancer pre-ordered, paid off. I'm waiting for the end of this month so I can get my own Lancer. Uh, I also got, what else I got pre-ordered? Crisis 3 pre-ordered. Also, I gotta go pick up my... I did have Colonial um, Aliens, Colonial Marines, Special Edition um, pre-ordered, but I took that off. I'm like, you know what, I don't probably... I'm not gonna even keep the statue. Probably don't, I'm probably won't even know what I'm gonna do with the statue. Uh, so, I'm just gonna get the regular... Take that pre-order off and just, I don't know, pre-order something different. Probably do the pre-order for the uh, Wii U. I believe the Wii U version is going to be a little bit better for um, Aliens Colonial War. Colonial Marines because of the um, tablet gamepad because it'll be able to use the um, Alien sensor on the pad. That'll be a little bit better. Um, but out of all, I'm hoping Dead Space 3 do come to the Wii U Metal Gear Solid. I mean, a lot of those games kind of do look better on the uh, Wii U game, but this is not a Wii U gameplay commentary. This is talking about Dead Space 3. Now, um, the weapons, the guns on it, it has a lot of customizable. Um, some of the things that you may notice when you play this game is it's not like Dead Space 2 when you're looking for ammo. I noticed that when I was searching for ammo, it wasn't for Pacific guns. It's like when I pick up an ammo pack, it's for all the guns. So let's say if um, I'm running low on ammo on my plasma cutter and I have no more ammo for my whatever guns I have. It doesn't work like that no more. As long as I get ammo, the ammo works for all guns. So that's another thing that you gotta basically pay attention for because if you just basically run out of ammo, you're not gonna have ammo for your other guns. So that's something you might wanna look out for, something that you wanna pay attention to if you don't pay attention to everything else that's going on. Um, so far, this is just like the first three, four hours of this gameplay. Um, I'm in this location. And this is still the beginning of the game. Now, this is only three hours in. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the game is long or short, but this is only three hours into the game of playing it. And, I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. But, um... That's my commentary right there. There's more towards this video. It's actually a 15 minute video, but I'm gonna cut it short. I'm gonna make this video for 10 minutes. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up right now. Nothing else is really gonna happen right now. It's just me walking around, trying to get back to another area. So, it's your boy Daddy Easy here. I pop jump right caca. Only use me, Tomahawks. 
easy, and I will catch you guys later in my next video. Peace.